You know, there's one person that always loves eating Easter eggs. Yes. It's actually Raul. And you're wondering where he is? Well, he is coming to us live from Tilbach ahead of the start of the Apsa Cape Epic. So yeah. let's head on over to Raul. Oh yes, Mzanzi, welcome to it. We're live right there at Tolbach. And officially, let me introduce you to the Absa Cape Epic. And as you can see, and if I could just explain to you the feeling right now, it is exhilarating. There's so much chaos, there's so much anticipation, and there's even more excitement for the 2024 edition of the Absa Cape Epic because this marks the 20th anniversary of this race. So it's absolutely prestigious this morning. And let me tell you, the races have already begun. And we're standing by right now with uh, stage two of uh, another sort of category. But let me tell you, it is absolutely exciting to see how much is going on here this morning. So if you don't know anything about the Cape, uh, well, the Absa Cape Epic, let me explain to you how this race works. It is grueling. We have some of the top races in the entire world here. And a reminder that this is probably one of the biggest television broadcasts the events in the entire world, right? Crazy facts. Now, on top of this, this is eight days of grueling racing. And woo, the sun has just come up as well. So perfect timing on this one. Good morning. Make it even more perfect. But as I was saying, it's eight days of racing, right? It's really intense. It gets really crazy because it's 613 kilometers that's taking place over an experience of elevation which lasts around, I think, something like 16,000 meters, that's a lot of elevation over eight days. So you can imagine this is an absolutely grueling race. Now, I'm telling you, the anticipation here is really real. I can feel the atmosphere. There's a lot of here, you can see my mans over here cheering us on there. Make some noise! <laughs> you, you can't see them right now, but there's so much entertainment happening and we're going to be plugging in throughout the entire day. Now, the race actually starts here in Tilbach. There's a few stages that take place. It goes all the way through Wellington and then we end up in Stellenbosch and that's actually where we're going to be meeting up with some of the races at the end of the week. So we're going to be touching base with them around Friday just to see how things are going and how crazy the race has been over this week. And as you can imagine, the bodies are going to be sore for sure. Now, we also have some inspiring news coming at you this morning because the lady by the name of Tina Fenter is going to be chatting to us about Absa's incredible program that they have. It's called She Untamed and it's a program that's also allowing women to be more exposed to the sport of cycling and mountain biking. Now, in the past, the Absa Cape Epic has predominantly been dominated by males, so it's so refreshing to see how many females are taking part in this event. Earlier we saw one of the start lines for the female race for the elites and wow they were looking incredible. I reckon they'd give the gents a run for their money right now and as you can hear the countdown it's going down! Yes! <laughs> Just caught the perfect timing on this race and look how fast they're going! Woo! Yes! <laughs> Clearly, the atmosphere is way up there, and as I was saying, it's really, really cool to see that there are so many women involved in this race too. So when we touch base a little bit later, I'm going to be talking to Tina Fenter about exactly that, about how we are unlocking the potential of women in the sport, how we're growing the sport and exposing so many women of color as well, of all different shapes and sizes, to this incredible occasion. So Mzanzi, you've got Every reason to stick around. This is the 2024 edition of the Absa Cape Epic. I'm going to be bringing you live and bringing you all the gears. Back to you in the studio, and we'll see you in just a bit.